Hello comrades, welcome back to Commander Peter Askiski and today comrades we are going to be reacting to um, Can Capitalists and Socialists Find the Middle Ground? Um, so comrades, let's begin. Now so comrades, I am more on the side of socialism comrades, so we will see what's going on here. Now comrades, will these capitalists have good explanations? My name is Liberty, I'm studying psychology at UCLA, I'm 20 years old. Of course I'm Sean, Liberty. I'm 24 years old and I'm in the socialist party. My name's Mimi, uh, 2016, Mimi? I was the Socialist Party's I'm not going to make fun of Mimi, uh, I'm Socialist I'm Shay, Comrade, I'm but, uh... I'm the Socialist Party, and I'm 28. My name's Jack, I'm 19, I go to community college. Jack. My name's Richard, 19, I go to Cal State Long Beach as a chemistry major with hey, a Richard, music Richard, be quiet. I get my Socialists on the left, and my Capitalists on the right. This is, um, economic segregation, comrades. Humans are inherently selfish. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Selfishness is sort of one word for it. I, I agree with that, comrades. Like, obviously, uh, obviously, comrades, I like sharing and stuff, but I think uh, humans as a whole, there's a reason you have to be, sh like, taught to share. You don't automatically see well, yourself as that. Yourself, your own survival but I do agree that sharing is um, a lot of better. Course, that includes the gain of those you love, is one of the main motivators of people. Uh, a really good way that we could figure out human nature is by comparing it to animal nature and stuff like that, and you see... You know, animals doing whatever they can to survive. It's just culture that has changed us. But I believe at its core that yes, humans, just like any other animal, are selfish. Yes, I, I, can, I can agree with that. I work with children and my experience of working with people who haven't been acculturated or have been in, uh, into this idea that they need to be selfish all the time are generally not. Every organism has to have a sense of like getting resources for itself in order to survive. But that's much different than being selfish, I think. I mean, I think even if you look at, if you spend Maybe, any time in yes. a social democracy, you know, let's say you go to Norway and you spend time there where the people see um, the collective good uh, as tied into their own personal well-being. You know, I think we have so many examples like that. Societies working collectively toward a, a, a greater good. Maybe the thing about the Nordic fight. countries, in my opinion, is, well, since they're very, very ethnically homogenous, they all have very, very similar culture. It's not an accurate representation of you know, what humans inherently are, because I believe that culture can mask um, human nature. So you think very... that diversity mm -hmm. would work against working in harmony toward a collective good? In, in diversity, Maybe. we have different ideas of what This good is getting is. really deep, comrades. Didn't expect this to happen today. <laughs> I think competition brings out the best in people. Um... That's a yes and no, comrades, because in my opinion, if it's just a normal competition to do some shit, it can be very good, comrades, like a school competition, comrades. But if the prize is like money, comrades, I think that brings the fucking worst out of people, comrades. When people go into competitions for money, it, there's nothing worse than that, comrades. That's what I believe, but so, um, yes. Especially comrades. when, you know, we're competing for something, for like, let's try to... Well, if you're competing for, like, science, it's fine, comrades, or, like, in the school, for example, but if you're competing for money and shit, that really makes this people compound that can help, bitches. You know, the masses in some kind of health relation form. You have all these research labs trying to figure Look out... Look how many what's Discord messages I have, comrades. I am quite famous. Well, this process. What's the most efficient way to do this? I think we need more of that sort of sense of competition, especially in the sciences and whatnot. You know, mm. we frequently you hear about the evils of monopolies it's because you know with when you control an entire market why even bother being better at anything you've got no competition you've got nothing to strive for and, and no one can choose anything else i agree with you both on the examples that you gave maybe but the thing that i'm kind of struggling with i mean if we're talking about efficiency quality then yeah i think it brings out the best in people but then again it tends to bring about greed that's true that's why i think it, it's you do is such a great service uh it's, it's a trip to me because, as you're likely aware, that there's this growing support for socialism, an economic system that places uh, people over profit, that you're um, willing to continue to throw out the same talking points that have failed people so miserably. Mimi uh, is quite a smart man, again, comrade. It's, it's a benefit to us, and I guess we should say thank you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> if you care about something better than us, you don't need the threat of someone doing it better than you to do the best that you can do. Ask any creative competition leads less to excellence and more towards doing whatever you can to edge past the other person. Today, everyone has the opportunity for success. Yes, I think more, I think a lot of people do, but also not many, because, well, it depends, comrades. I think in the, um, not in, in okay countries, maybe in dictatorships, countries in Africa and shit, comrades, not everyone can be successful, but... Uh, All right, if we're talking about the United States and we're talking about financial success, then yes, I would believe so. 
if we're talking about the world, it doesn't necessarily have to mean financial well-being or like stability. I think that it really just means how you're happy and how you're okay with yourself. And you know, you make a goal and you pursue your goal. And if you that's, fail or that's achieve exactly it, exactly what I was thinking. I find that yeah, there's so many sure resources out there that you can Shut connect up. on. It's just there's some people who just don't do anything about it. What is that sound? My my first thought here with this question is, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh, you know, um, so many people in this country who solely because they exist, uh, they're under threat, whether it's through, you know, the police <laughs> so just trying to survive. So everyone's very different. Again, everyone has different opportunities to what they can even consider success. In, in the U.S., though, there are a lot of opportunities for most people, though, of course, you can't say all, and there are always those who are extremely unfortunate and should be helped. I'm sure every one of us has sat in a restaurant before or a Starbucks. Those people work their asses off. That's Any true. of these low-income jobs are not easy, and they, they work for pennies. If something goes wrong with their car, they're done. You know, if they have a health problem, they're done. You're, you're talking about financial success, though. Success is extremely relative and can be defined in many different ways. That in the capitalist true. society, well, though, financial success. It's such a confusing thing. debate, no. comrade. I've, I've worked it, in the food industry for a Depends what you are talking about, I not say that I any guess. one of my companions was ever happy to be doing that. Yeah, and if they're going to school on successful. top of that, you know, so they're, they're working full time and on top of that, they're going to school and they're paying school. I would consider that successful if you can go to school and you can maintain your GPA and you can also be working a part time job and somehow affording your school. Yeah, you're doing well in life. Society should help the underprivileged. Yes. Wow, almost everyone can agree. That sort of saying, oh, everyone can agrees. Etc. holds true, um, and also who should do the helping and how is very important. Not all acts of service are equally beneficial. I, I would agree to that. I myself, you know, I'm sorry to use a personal anecdote here, but I've personally dealt with the fact that, oh, giving someone this much aid, they become they become lazy. My father is an alcoholic, so we since due to an injury in his leg, he gets SSI. And what's en what ends up happening is he receives enough SSI to the point where he's not he's not motivated to do anything else beyond just going home, drinking a beer or something like that. And I think, mm -hmm. yes, people should help people, especially if they're under underprivileged or they need the resources to push them. But to what end? That's that's the fine line. But your personal anecdote only only covers the small demographic of the of the exactly. alcoholic. Most of the people that that. Every that, example uh, you guys have brought up has been specifically about people who are particularly poor when. Most of the country is middle, lower middle class and up. That's well, that's actually people. that's not a fact. But that, that you would focus on this in a country. <laughs> maybe maybe it's like that you are chatting bullshit. Anyone that <laughs> gives more than so half. So there are, by the way, comments on the for a second. I was really trying to listen to their points. Of its budget comrades. to the police in a but country. They are uh, so it was in one ear, out the other. <laughs> I'm joking, comrades. Just passed a military bill, a spending bill. Uh, that's almost one trillion dollars. That money goes to defense contractors. The government the paying for things is not capitalism. But we're in a capitalist system. Uh, uh, Where the government pays huge amounts of money the for military. the things you're talking. Yeah, I'm not right. in favor of those things. How about instead of spending the money on the military, how about putting those back into basic needs? Healthcare, education, housing. I, I agree. agree. I, the government taking yeah. our taxpayer dollars and funneling it into, they, they're paying for things that the military explicitly says that they don't need. That's not, capitalism is about prices and transparency and, and choices. When the government takes our money and buys this it because they decide. This is actually an example of working. Why does that guy look so sad? He's like, it's like, it's like, be, be happy or so That is not, uh, that might be what you call capitalism, but when I come here accumulate. saying I'm a capitalist, I'm not saying I'm in favor of that. Chatting Profit shit. and ethics are opposing motives. No clue what the fuck that means, and it's too late for me to try and understand so it. core to profit, uh, you have to exploit. Uh, and again, there is nothing ethical about exploitation. Yeah, that I mean, I can't true. think, of, I, I'm really having trouble thinking of a situation where, uh, someone could profit off of something without exploitation being in the mix and I just, I, I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> if you're running a business and you know, you're, you're the one up top, you would obviously walk away with more money if you pay your employees a little bit less. That, that, wow, that's true. I think that profit and ethics can be intertwined when seen with the corporate social responsibility module. When they treat their employees better, they give them more benefits, they raise their wages and in turn it motivates the workers to work harder and treating your employees better than shit is not necessarily ethical. <laughs> like raising that the quality does comments. not mean that you raise it to a sufficient Where standard of, of treatment. Because if you're paying someone less than a living wage, that is unethical. All I'm saying is it is to some degree more ethical and can be seen as more ethical to be beating competition 
by raising the wages of your employees and giving them better benefits. Also, one must be paid slightly less than they are making in worth for a company for it to be worth it to hire them at all. If you can't pay your employee the minimum amount of money that they need in order to live, uh, you have no business being in business. Um, and That's I think cool. also there's a tendency from the conservative side to skew away from sort of objective fact. I mentioned the <laughs> MIT living wage calculator, right? Yes. Um, that's a scientific model. Wow. That 2925. So as a company, if you can't afford to pay your employee a <laughs> living wage, just look that's it up just like the minimum that they need shit. in order to live, right? Me, me, uh, smart man. Get the fuck out of business. Why are we even talking to you when you have all the facts and we don't know anything? I don't know. It's hardly worth my time. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's hard to really lean towards one side or the other if everyone is <laughs> just sort of hero. stating all these coherent biases and not accepting any sort of thing from any other particular side which is why i'm sort of just I, i'm trying to understand your side and i'm trying to understand grasp really my side of it and again going back to sort of that mutual understanding of what can we do next that sort of mutual understanding needs to be there if, if we're going to ever continue to see what's best for for the u.s I think one reason why you know you often see like folks on the left, the socialists, communists, anarchists, or, et cetera, uh, they're so passionate, and, and there is anger. You know, um, seeing uh, the suffering and the oppression and the exploitation, the racism, et cetera, you sort of feel this urgency. You know, like we're constantly under sort of this self-criticism and self-reflection about like well, how do you so come on that was a really good video if you want to watch the rest of that video come on go to the original channel it's quite a long video so they want to react to all of it comrades but yes um also comrade that was a great video obviously i still think mimi he was funny he was good comrades i like mimi a lot comrades but anyway comrades please make sure to leave a like subscribe and make sure to let communism strike again